Success and failures are part of our lives, but there are some who make the best use of the opportunities they get. I have with me the person who initiated the first ever package implant in Sri Lanka. It's none other than the owner of Dilma, Mr. Muriel Fernando. Welcome to the show, Mr. Muriel. Thank you, thank you. I'm happy to be on your show. Mr. Maria, so tell me, what is your secret to success? In one word, it is hard work. Then, I am very, very committed and dedicated to what I do. Even today, when I started, I had a commitment to make my business effort in trying to find a place for quality Ceylon tea in the market. My the advantage I had is that I had a great product to sell, Ceylon tea, which has a fantastic image, high quality image, and the whole world knows about Ceylon tea. The secret is I had a great product to sell. I took it to the market, withstood all sorts of criticism, insults, humiliations. Nevertheless, I persevered and met with some degree of success. On your path to success, you must have faced various challenges in your way. How did you overcome those challenges? Quite frankly, the challenges I faced were most of the time insurmountable when I looked at all this inspiration. All this guidance came from one person, without whose advice, inspiration and guidance, I could have never got off the ground. That's Almighty God. What is the message you would want to give the upcoming entrepreneurs? My message to them is that when you are successful in business, do not let the success grip you. My success is large because of the fact success flows to the poor and to the community. And therefore, what you share with the poor and the community grows. Business grows and therefore, success must not go to your head. The values my parents taught me when I was in the, my village home, humble home, are my strengths. Therefore. My advice to them is make money, money is important, but spare a cent for the poor and for the community. My secret is that I have still a very humble outlook in life. Money and success has never affected me. If it did, I would have been a different man. But I am the same man with the same habit, same values which I was taught by my parents. Well, that was the success story of Mr. Muriel Fernando, but we have more success stories coming our way, so stay tuned as we will bring you another such success story in our next edition. Mm -hmm.